All right, guys, before the video starts, be sure to use this IP when connecting to the server and the first 100 people that go on shop.thearchon.net, which is also in the description, and use code ZOID on the Skyblocks Origins Realm, you will get a free coal rank. So add the coal rank to your shop, use the code ZOID, and you will get it for free, and you guys can come on hop on playing. First 100 people, so get it as quick as you can and log on with this IP. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. All right, what is going on guys? Mizoid here. Welcome back to another video. Guys, we are doing a new series today on a new server, The Archon, on the Origin Skyblock realm. So guys, before we get into it, I just wanna let you guys know, if you guys are one of the first 100 people watching this video, you can use code ZOID in the, you know, the checkout shop, and you'll get a free rank. You'll get the free coal rank. I'm not sure how high up that is. You can see right there on the tab, the yellow rank on the left side. You can get a free coal rank if you log on um, do go to the Biocraft and use the code Zoid and check out. Also, guys, to access the Archon, um, the IP is in the description. Mizoid.archonhq.net is where you should be connecting. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna be playing on the Origin Skyblock realm for this series. It's gonna be a you know a weekly series, only one upload every week. And uh, yes, yeah, so, so basically, uh, you know, on Origins, just like most Skyblock servers, we have an island top reward system. So you can see there's basically an island top right here on the top right here so yeah essentially every week uh you know the server gives out real money and buy craft vouchers to the top players on the network and you know the server just opened up so uh you will be able to you know climb up there if that is your goal and once again guys you can log on right now and get a free rank uh only the first 100 people though so go check if you can do it and, you know log on the server and come play so uh, basically you know the archon unlike other ones that i've used or played before you know they use a custom skyblock plugin so you know it's lag free just like uh exactly what you'd want on a server we have a lot of stuff right here that we're gonna look into soon but uh yeah so also there's a mob coin system on the network so basically you can earn mob coins by killing mobs and spend the mob coins in the mob coin shop so mob coin um that's info, info blah, blah, blah. shop okay so this is the mob coin shop so killing mobs will give you you know coins and then you can buy all this stuff so let's take a peek uh team alone i think these are all the other youtubers that are on here yeah um but then we have evoker spawner don't know what the heck that is we have to find out vindicator spawner villager spawner vote crate key one hour slash fly um all this type of stuff so yeah a lot of cool stuff you can get from grinding very easily um, then there's also robots, which I'm uh, gonna assume that those are just like minions um, Robot manager. So yeah, these are the robots click to despawn all robots manage all your robots here Yeah, I'm assuming they are just like that. I, I don't have any right now But yeah, they do have those and then there are also these things called gem transformers Basically you can get it on the shop and you know if we look at the gem transformer rank 5 or like that um, Then it transforms all cobblestone within five blocks into valuable gem blocks so that's a uh, you know 125 gem blocks if you know do a, a whole cube. But yeah, we're gonna you know look into that later, uh, getting an actual example of it. And do I have any kits? No, I don't think I do have any of these unlocked. Okay, so do I have a reclaim? Uh, no. Okay, well I'm gonna get some you know keys to show off for you guys, and I'll bring you guys back shortly. All right, well I can't actually show off me opening the keys at the moment, but yeah, we went on one point by the way, just in case there's any differences. But uh. We can show off everything that's here. So they have spawner crate key, which uh, basically is pretty self-explanatory. Gives out spawners. I'm still not sure what the vindicator, wait, vin, vindicator, sorry, and the evoker, uh, you know, spawners are. But uh, we can go to the uncommon crate key. Whoops, uncommon crate key. Uh, money, XP, mob coins, vows, spawners, vows, blah, blah blah, ranks, and then more keys. Uh, we go to the vote key. I think you can get everyone can get this. You just vote on the, like the server. I'm pretty sure. Right, it, it's not to vote. Yeah, so you can just vote on these, and I think you can type in your IGN, and it'll give you the crate keys, um, all this type of stuff. And okay, so that's that. You can go to the boss crate. Ooh, so 1.5 million, 3 million, more XP, bunch of stuff. Okay, so it looks like that gives a lot of stuff. We can go to epic. Um, once again, looks like a pretty good one. Not sure why this uh, spawner is categorized as epic, but these ones aren't. Maybe there's different tiers for spawners. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Koth crate, so they do have Koths on here that we can do. Um, all right, so that's that. We got legendary crate key. I think these ones are is this one the best one. I think legendary is the best. I think uh, one one mil, one point five mil, two mil, forty one point all this type of stuff. More and yep, basically that. Disguise. Not sure what these do. Maybe you can disguise as a thing, like a. I, I don't know. Maybe you can disguise as a wolf, rabbit, or all this type of stuff. We'll find out in the future. Um, these are the really good ones the monthly crate reward which is like 
um that really good you know you open the crate and it gives you a bunch of rewards i wish i had some to show off right now but i don't um but you can see right there like all the stuff right there there's access to slash envy nick near fix all then there's the epic items all those spawners the sword the chunk hoppers legendary items and all that and then there's the rare, rare crate keys right here which gives us stuff so you know pretty solid uh crate system you guys can buy crates if you'd like and also for the payouts for the rewards like i said do slash paypal or uh, slash gift card or use both of those actually gift card will give you you know your um it'll give you the bycraft vouchers and paypal will give you the you know paypal rewards here are the actual rewards i was on 1.7 so you couldn't see it last time but uh weekly prize 300 dollars and uh number one is 120 paypal the rest of these are bycraft so if you're number one every week you'll get 120 dollars at the end of the week pretty good um so yeah that's the web store you can see in the chat shop.thearchon.net warps uh these are all the warps you can see in chat oh we can already i'm gonna just go back uh, so there's spawn. Wait, hold on. Let's, let's see. Let's see. I thought I saw enchant crates and PVP. All right. So yeah, you guys just saw the crates. I guess we can go to the enchant in a second. These are the ranks. Uh, the coal rank, redstone rank, lapis, iron. Can't read that one. I think it's, I think it's gold. This one's emerald. This one's diamond. All right. So those are the ranks. By the way, guys, like I said, first 100 people to go on the shop and type the code or the code Zoid as a coupon, you'll get the coal rank for free. So be sure to do that. Um, you know get that going uh slash and this is the shop obviously vip drops not sure what that is or vip spawners um and then these are just all the you know basic stuff that you can buy off of shops um island top like i said island top let's go to the enchantment area see what's in here enchant your items by enchanting them here i assume it's just yeah it's the same thing okay nothing special about that um so yeah guys throughout the series i'm gonna be showing off like the actual feature that i just talked about but in like you know real reality wait let's see this Mobcoin is the second currency the Archons have earned by killing the Mobcoin balance, OP rewards, Mobcoin chop. A friendly mob gives 0.25, a hostile gives 0.5, and buy a rank to earn more. Alright, so that's that from mob coins. Um, we can keep going. I probably should have been on 1.8 this entire time. Pets are always here. You can do slash buy. Okay, so you can get a bunch of pets, looks like. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then those are the robots, obviously, which you know I don't have. This is the mob coin shop that we just went over. Um, yeah. Then auctioner, I think it's just the AH, yeah, where people sell stuff. Okay, so that's that. Let's go down here. Um, there's also bounties, like they're, you know, I've seen those on a couple of servers. Bounties are pretty cool because you can put a bounty on people and, you know, you'll get targeted, all that. Uh, I remember on a server a long time ago, I used to like millions on me, so that's that. Um, okay, so for the PvP on the server, so it is a, um, whoops, it is a, a Skyblock server, but there is PvP. So this is the Warzone PvP. You can jump down here and then, you know, PvP is enabled and all that um there's koth every three hours there is a you know capture the hill or king of the hill sorry um in the pvp area the goal is to capture the hill for a certain amount of time just like hcf all that type of stuff and you receive you know the koth key which once again we can go look at gives you these rewards where is it koth right here these are the rewards you can get from the koth keys which is really good um pretty good boost money drops so every few hours a percentage of all in-game money spent in the slash shop is dropped in form of banknotes around the pvp area so that's pretty cool i've never seen that before so basically like if people are is the, if we get a lot of players online and you know they have we have them spending a lot of money in the slash shop every hour a percentage of that will be floating around all over the place in banknotes which you can get and redeem instantly so uh you can run around the pvp area to fight and get the banknotes lastly for pvp sky drops every three hours ender chests fall from the sky around the pvp area when a player mines one of the ender chests, they will get a lot of OP items. So guys, that's like envoys. If you guys remember those from any other servers, uh, I love those a lot. You know, I haven't done one of them in a long time, but I remember I used that a long time ago when I would play regular factions as a main game mode. Um, and then last thing is a mob coin trophy, which I want to actually show off once I get it. But these, I believe, oh, it generates mob coins per minute. So it's like a generator basically. So yeah, you can uh, you can get that, and it gives you it shows you the island levels that you get, and how much you do, and how much you can have per island, and all that. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I just basically went over all the features in a brief little video. Now we can you know we can go over to like um, I think it's is go. Whoops, is go. Oh no, we gotta create a new island. Okay. Uh, ooh. Um, I would do. I'll do grassland. I was gonna do end, but I didn't want it to, you know, be too, um, you know, I didn't, I want, I didn't want to have to mine the end uh, stone. So okay, this is our island. Looks like they give you a little farm to start off with. I am invisible for some reason, um, so that's good. And they give you a little farm. Oh shoot, dice. Okay, so yeah, 
We do give you farm, so you know, easy start, easy start. Um, give you all this, and then you know we can get the melons. I think it goes directly in your inventory, or you just don't see them on the ground. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, um, we can remove the string and actually mine all this up. And let's just get all this. So yeah, um, they do give you this to start off with, so it looks like it's pretty good with starting off. So yeah, guys, you should log on, you know, mizoid.archonhq.net um, and log on the Origins Realm. And okay, so there's pumpkins. I don't really need pumpkins, but I don't know why I'm invisible. I think that's, um, oh, there we go. Okay, well, yeah. Oh, am I at max height or something? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, um, looks like it is time to move on to the next stage of the island. Basically, we're just going to get our stuff set up. Um, I basically went over all the features, and throughout the whole series, like I said, it's going to be like a weekly series. Um, I will, you know, show off, you know, other people's islands. If you guys have some good islands and you see me online while I'm recording, you know, I'll show them off. I will also um, show off all the features, all that type of stuff, all the efficient ways of making money or any anything like that so looks like they gave us another starter thing they give us all these seeds and don't really need those again i'll take all this and all right so i guess we can start up with the you know cobblestone generator i believe i know how to do it i think we gotta go like this and okay i think it's water goes down like that and then anyway i gotta do this and then it's like that, I think. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. And it does do the thing where, you know, it switches into ores as well. Not only water, which is nice. Um, oh, that's cool. Oh, let's not do that. All right. So, yeah, guys, that is the cobblestone generator to get started. Just gotta, All you got to do is make that. And then, you know, it'll... Uh, looks like it's... Some of it's burning, but it should be good. Okay. So yeah, that's that. Um, that's probably the first thing you want to do if you, you know, have zero money at all. I mean, I do have five thousand dollars, so I could, you know, do something like that. We already have the the farm set up, but I could just make more, I guess, like ones that are actually like, you know, efficient. Um, they do have wood too. And wait, are those emerald blocks? Yeah, those are. I think those are emerald blocks. Um, so that looks like you know an easy source of money right there, and we can just you know mine up all this, get the farms going, and do all the basic stuff. All right, so we got our first little thing set up right here. You guys are probably wondering what the heck is this because, you know, it's not really clear. But uh, this is our melon farm. I don't know why I can't actually hear the sounds. I think there's something wrong with my game. But, um, like, I have all my sounds good. I could hear myself break blocks, but I can't hear them place. So, yeah, guys, this is our melons right here. Um, you know, grow on here. Just basically, like, all the HCF stuff we always do. Uh, I did make a unlimited water source by, you know, placing two blocks of ice and then, you know, doing that. So, yeah, I think I can't hear it, but I can hear me break. I don't know. I don't freaking know. But, yeah, um... Guys, come on and play. I'll be showing off, you know, the top islands every episode. So if you're up there and you, you know, you want to get showed off, you know, I can even bring you in team speak and we can, you know, go over everything on your island. All that good stuff. So yeah, guys, um, I think this is our next farm right here. We're just going to do, I guess we can do uh, regular seeds. I'm not sure, or I can just, I don't know. I could do uh, different things like potatoes and seeds in the same one because, you know, we don't have the most, or the most space right now. But yeah, let's see. Um... Okay, we can put down the seeds right here. I do need to get a light, though. Um, okay, that's the seeds. And then we'll do the melon or potatoes right here. And, oh, we can put mushrooms down as well. But those are supposed to be in darkness. So here, wait. Let's just do a little, a little mountain digging. And mine this out. I'm going to put it in here. Um, what the heck? See, I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I don't understand about 1.8. Like right here. What the? Diamond block. Okay, well, like how these dirt textures are different. Oh, that's not dirt. That's what the heck is coarse dirt? All right, well, thank you. Whoa, diamond blocks, guys. Pro tip: mine into the island, you will find diamond blocks on the uh, the Greenlands thing or whatever I chose. All right, well, that's cool. Thanks for the diamonds. Um, just mine all this up, and I can put them down right here. All right, and there's the oh shroom thumb fail. What the heck does that mean? Did I just lose my? I just lost it. Okay, not sure what happened there, guys. I don't know what a shroom thumb fail is, but whatever. Um, all right, and then sugar cane. We can uh, we can actually put that right here. Perfect. See, I don't. I just don't know why I can't hear it, but um, whatever. And I should probably add some more dirt so like I don't fall off while I'm doing this. I'm pretty sure you don't lose anything when you fall off, like every other skyblock survive played. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna do this just in case. 
All right, so that's good. And I don't really need pumpkins. I could probably just, you know, I'll just put them on this side right here. Um, oh, I'm gonna actually put that right there and that right there so it doesn't grow right there. Okay, um, I think that's everything. Cactus, I mean, we don't have any sand, do we? I don't think so, so I won't do that right now. Looks like stuff grows pretty fast, so that's already grown. Um, oh, we can make more melons. I'll just do that really quick because we already mined up all the melons. So here, melons will go right here. We'll get all that done. And, you know, I'll just put some more as well. Okay, that's good. Oh, you need bones for bone meal. I don't think I'm going to bone meal anything because I'm probably going to end off the episode soon. Because, you know, this is more of a, a starter episode. Letting you guys know what's up with the server. You guys should come on and play. And, uh, you know, I'll be playing. So, I hope to see you guys there. You guys can see right there in the chat, sky drop. I could go really quick, but I don't want to die. <laughs> Here, I'll go, I'll go put the stuff away. And then we'll go check. Um, more PvP. Oh, people are dying already. Oh, yeah, we can't do that. We cannot do that. Um, okay, well, yeah, you guys see how it is. Pretty active PvP cycle with the sky drop. So, yeah, guys, uh, I hope to show you guys that in the next episode, a tier three. Yeah, next episode, we should be able to, you know, set up pretty easily, um, get some nice gear, all that type of stuff. And probably we can also show off some, um, some uh, keys or whatever. So, yeah, guys, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoy. Guys, remember, first 100 people, uh, better check now if you can get the coal rank for free. And uh, yeah, I'll probably put a clip in the very beginning of this video before everything too. And uh, yeah, you can connect the IP down below in the description. down that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like down below if you're excited. I will do anything you guys want me to do. So if you guys have any suggestions, be sure to leave them down below and I'll, I'll take them into consideration. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.